Hello and welcome to the HECAClasp webinar. So today we are discussing the HECAClasps, the uh, silver and the copper. And then within the silver and the copper, we have the regeneration and the golden fire. Now, if you were looking at just the simply the sizes of the HECAClasps, the golden fire is the smaller one and will fit the smaller wrists, like five inches, um, things like that. But it will still expand out to fit a wrist the size of mine. So you can wear the golden fire if you are attracted more to the golden fire than the regeneration. You can still certainly wear the golden fire even with a larger wrist. Now with the regeneration, as far as the physical size goes, it is made for a little bit of a larger wrist now, if you look at the actual product page, it will give you a description there of the specific wrist sizes that we recommend, though even the smallest wrist I've seen wear the regeneration ring. Um, I have a friend who has about a five and a half inch wrist and the regeneration ring works just perfect for her. Um, so either one you choose, um, you know, you can choose based on size though they're pretty universal for size. You can also choose based on the frequency. Now, the golden fire, the smaller the two hecaclasps, the golden fire is one that it is the same in copper as it is in the sterling silver. They're the same energetics for the golden fire. Now, the regeneration, they're a little bit different energetics, which we'll get into that in a moment. But for the golden fire, it is the one that is more of the clearing work. Um, it does the, the really strong EMF protections like things from like the 5G network, uh, different forms of radionics, things like that. The, the uh, golden fire is the one that is also clearing dense energies, dense thought forms, ghosts, waywards, things like that. So the golden fire really is the one that is clearing. It's still high connecting. It's called golden fire because of the sacred heart, the trifold gold flame heart. So the golden fire still is a high frequency tool. Then we have the regeneration ring. Now the regeneration um, rings and regeneration clasp is going to be one that will still do some of the basic EMF protections, um, but it's going to be the one that is raising you in frequency and vibration much more than the golden fire even in that it is taking you higher and connecting you higher. Um, the two together are phenomenal. A lot of the tools that we make are using both the golden fire and the regeneration rings together. And you can see the size difference in the two. So how we make these specific rings is we actually create a ring. So when we make a ring with the closed loop on it, so that it is an actual working tensor ring, a tensor field. We then will take that ring and we'll flatten it. We'll bring both the ends together so that it is flat like this. Here you can see where the folds are, where we folded the ring right there. So we fold the ring and then we put it into this basic shape. So then it is still carrying the entire energetics of the ring. Um, so this design is pretty phenomenal because my nephew Lucas and I have been making these different clasps for years um, because m around here in the rural area, most people do not want to wear something that is closed around the wrist because of the work that they do of catching it on places. So they want something that has a breakaway to it uh, for, for safety um, out doing that type of work. So we we've been working on designing these for years and what lucas and i did was we took a heavier gauge wire just a single wire we made it into a circle then we flattened it and then we hand twisted it and that was creating a tensor field as well but just not as strong of a tensor field as if you had a whole and complete tensor ring first and then do it this particular way so once we figured out this way it was just this is the way that we had to do it um, because two of the other clasps that were out of a heavier gauge you had to bend them a little bit on and off your wrist now these clasps are made to basically just slip on your wrist 
like this, and then over. Then over. Just like that. Um, so you don't have to do a lot of bending with these unless you have that really small wrist where you can bend them. But with that heavier gauge wire, we would we'd have the issue of the reason that we never put those out is because here at Twisted Safe Studios, we give a lifetime guarantee on the tools. Um, well, we give a lifetime guarantee on the welds of the tools. And so we didn't feel comfortable sending out those clasps before that we made because people would bend them and they would eventually break. So after a few months, six, eight months of, of use, they would just end up snapping. So these ones, they have enough of a give in to them. You're not going to break these ones. So it'll last for a lifetime. Um, really phenomenal tools, these heck of clasps. They're lightweight. Don't even know that you're wearing them. You can wear both together, the Golden Fire and the Regeneration. You can wear a copper one and a silver one. You can wear both silvers, both coppers. Really doesn't matter. Now, um, I was going to say about the Regeneration, the difference between the silver and the copper. So with the Regeneration rings only, the silver is more potent than the copper made in Regeneration rings. Golden Fire, silver, copper rings, same power and potency. When we get to the regeneration, the silver holds that field of the regeneration ring that much more. And the reason that they're called the regeneration rings. Now, these these partic this particular tensor ring, um, unlike the golden fire, the golden fire, and I'll just tell you a little bit about the golden fire and its conception. The golden fire Unlike the older tensor rings that came from specific sacred measurements that were used to build pyramids, things like that, the golden fire measure comes from those higher geometries, those new geometries coming onto the planet. Those geometries, they're, they're information, they're math. Um, but we took a specific length out of one of those that was the golden fire cubit, that very specific measurement. And then the reason we call it the golden fire is because when we discovered when we brought in that specific measurement we'd also just received the sacred heart activation which is that trifold gold flame heart that you always see jesus and mary depicted with beyond religion the sacred heart the golden fire and that golden fire is being held within the golden fire rings so that's why we call it the golden fire um, because it contains that frequency and property so now then, with uh, the Golden Fire, we then moved on to having um, the Regeneration Ring. Now, the Regeneration Ring is not anything that, you know, people ask, okay, well, why is it called Regeneration? Does it regenerate cells? No, it does not regenerate cells. What the Regeneration Ring is doing is the Regeneration Ring is one that is called that for the fact that it is raising the frequency and vibration of the cells and so as it's doing that um it is uh you know just shifting the physical by raising the frequency and vibration of the cells so that's the difference between the two clasps the the heca clasps of the golden fire and of the regeneration um and again the silver and the copper uh golden fire energetically the same the silver, the regeneration, is more potent than the copper one for regeneration. Now then, um, one of the questions that's asked a lot is about copper and wearing it on the wrist and how it leaves that green on the wrist. So the reason that uh, the green is left on the wrist is because our body wants to absorb copper. It will absorb as much copper as our body will process, our skin will. So our skin is a smart organ. Um, so basically, when it is absorbing the copper, you don't see that green slough on your skin. So usually it is through stress or dehydration that we see that people's skin is no longer absorbing the copper. So it just leaves as a patina on the skin. It's not being absorbed. Now, there's a very small percentage of people who just can't touch copper. It just turns black. It turns them black has to do with body chemistry, pH, whatever. But it is, um, for the majority of people, your body loves the copper. So, um, 
I guess that is probably all we have on the the Hecaclasps today. Um, really phenomenal tools. They are they're lightweight. You can't tell you even have them on. Um, Please do check out the testimonials, um, not only on the HECA class, but please do check out the testimonials on our entire website. We have some pretty phenomenal testimonials out there. So, all right. Thank you for being here. See you next time.